Well, Tasman, you've made many recordings at Potton Hall. I think this is, must be about your... How many for Shandos? It must be. I've made a lot of recordings here. I, I would say probably about eight or nine. There's something very special about the atmosphere here. First of all, it's incredibly tranquil. So it, it's, you feel like you're entering a space where you can really focus on the job in hand. There's not too many distractions around. There's a lot of beauty of uh, the countryside, and it's very quiet. So whenever I'm here, I always feel that I can put my heart and soul into the recording. Well, it does indeed feel there's always a, a magical quality to some of the recordings. Well, all the recordings you made here, and of course some with the wonderful Piers Lane. Have you, you've been coming here for years as well, haven't you? I have. I first came here for the yeah. BBC, I think about 15 years ago, and it's changed dramatically um, in that time, and the surroundings have as well. It just gets better and better, I have to say. There's a beautiful black beast here, which is always <laughs> very accommodating. So that's a great attraction to me. And yes, you don't get lots of planes flying overhead or anything you know it some churches one records in in london you have to stop because of bird noise or you get creaking buildings as they get cold and that sort of thing and potton has really not got problems like that which is a great a great thing because sometimes you've just felt you've achieved the most magical moment you could have and the producer says oh sorry we can't do that because we had a creak or we had and you think oh i'll never capture that again <laughs> Well, I, think, I think the other thing is that there's such a lot of space here. So it's almost as if you feel that you can really breathe here. It's not that you can relax because it's not a relaxing thing to make a recording, but it's that there isn't clutter around to distract you or get in the way. You just feel that you've got the space and the tranquility and the peace and calm outside to enable you to focus in on um, making music and really... Um, keep the energy reserved for that aspect of things. Well, I can't think of any other recording studios that has a swimming pool. Um, is it a flotation tank? A nice I was in the flotation pool? tank late last night. What was that like? <laughs> that was heaven. Really? You open your eyes, complete blackness and sensory deprivation and just feel like you're in the womb. <laughs> and uh, wonderful, I came out like Mr Blob and sank into well, my bed. <laughs> and we, were, we were on the hammock as well. Yes. Oh, I wanted to try evening, the hammock. It was wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And the, color, the garden is just a blaze of colour, isn't it? Glorious. That's it's right. really yes. astonishing. One's walk to work in the morning from mm. the house up to here is probably about the most blissful walk you could have. And of course, also in Potton Hall today, we could go and swimming, if you like. Uh, but in winter, you have a sauna as well. But it did strike me as a slight irony, because you recorded today Brahms violin sonatas, and that kind of romantic music, you think of flowers and nature, where, of course, Brahms, I think, lived all his life in a city in a flat... Didn't they? I think it was a rented fat. I don't think he ever bought a house in his life. Yes. Um, but somehow the music just conveys um, the wonderful countryside. But the other lovely thing about this area is there are wonderful restaurants. And one of the great joys of three days recording is going to dinner at night and having a nice glass of wine yeah. and a wonderful meal. And there are yeah. significant restaurants nearby to do that in, pubs and things too. Mm. It's a great area. Well, thank you very much. We look forward to the recording coming out next year. Thanks, Paul. Thanks.